Uh, so hi everyone total try to understand after fine tuning any llm that you have built as i have discussed in my last video how you can push your model to hugging face up and then eventually download it from hugging face up and use all the other hugging face uh, facilities that are provided other functions that are provided with your private model also so let's get started so first of all to use hugging face so to use hugging face hub you need to create two token ids so first of all let's understand how to do it so assume that uh, you are on uh, you are logged into your hugging face account so if you haven't you can create a new one i think creating these tokens is free of cost so that's not an issue then you go to your profile and click on your name your username basically so here you can see that i have posted on two models recently now go to the settings part and go to access tokens now basically uh, there are two types of access token that hugging face provides one is for reading models and other is for pushing models so if you want to push a private model and then eventually read it also you need to create two token ids as you can see here that one of my token ids is read other is write and one again is read so what i will do here is that if you wish to create a new token you can go here you can name it and then create a role also so for pushing you need a write token and for reading you need a read token so first of all as we will be pushing our fine tuned model first before reading i will be taking this write token i will copy it and i will be calling this hugging face uh, i will be importing this hugging face hub import notebook login you will see a prompt now login now if you see that the prompt address, the message that has been written is token is valid permission right so if you try to read after using this login notebook if like for example in this prompt if you have provided a read token it will have given you an error something like this as you can see in the last code you must have used the right token to upload a repository so for writing you need to have a right token only now let's run the below code so here you can see that i am using a few functions first of all i am saving the pre-trained tokenizer and then eventually creating a model card and then pushing the trainer the trainer object that i have created in my previous video as you can refer how i did fine tuning for lms and I'm pushing it to the hub. So as you can see that it has nothing has changed. So I'm getting no error and I think I'm getting no updates also. Now to read this uh, particular function, uh, particular model that I upload that is plan T5 small custom. Again, I need to go to notebook login. Again, as you saw, this time I'll be reading it. So I'll be using my read token. here you can see that token is valid permission and uh, colon read now here you can see that i am providing the name of the model alongside my username so username forward slash the name of the model so here you can see that the token was valid eventually the model got downloaded and it is performing well also so in this way you can push your model to hugging face up and then download it for your purposes also